news about the redesigned Tacoma from the new Tundra. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive. That's right, I think we can get a few clues about what is going to be the redesigned Toyota Tacoma from the new Tundra. You know, taking a look at some of the pictures and stuff and knowing Toyota's philosophy, you can bet that they're going to utilize a lot of these things in the redesigned Tacoma. So let's take a look. First of all, they have this new panoramic sunroof in the Tacoma, or in the Tundra rather, I think they're probably going to carry that through with the Tacoma. And if you take a look right now, this is what we have obviously, it's just your standard sunroof. But there's a lot of real estate back there that they could utilize for a panoramic sunroof. And I think since they're doing that with the new Tundra, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna do it with the new redesigned Tacoma. Next up is this front end. You know, I'm not really digging the new front end on this redesigned Tundra, to be honest. It's kind of flat, doesn't have a lot of character. But I want that, but there is one thing rather that I do like on it, and that is the integrated light bar. On the new Tundra, in the grill, there is an integrated light bar across here, probably more towards the center. And I think Toyota will probably do the same thing with the Tacoma. It'll have maybe some Raptor style lights in there. You never know because they're so popular, but definitely some sort of integrated LED light bar. Next up is the new MTS system, multi-terrain system. Now it's not new for the Tacoma, but it is new in the Tundra. And what they've done, we'll hop back up in here, they have located it right down in this area. It's a little dark in here, but right down in this area here. Now, you'll notice there's not a ton of room in the Tacoma, but if they move the brake to, let's say, a foot brake, you know, down there where a lot of trucks have them these days, then that would leave room right here to go ahead and mount some sort of a switch for the new in in this case the old multi-terrain system which is currently located right up here next up is the wireless phone charger you know they have moved this thing around inside the new tundra it used to be right in the center console or the armrest area there but they've moved it kind of off to the right of where the gear selector would be now what i think they may do with the new tacoma is kind of the same thing kind of change up the dash area right there particularly on the side right over there where you see the pillar um, or the edge part over here of the center console area bring that in a little bit and have that area be where the new phone charger would be it's kind of a neat way to do it i think rather than having it located you know up underneath the cubby there especially with a manual transmission when you have to reach under there try to grab your phone, set it, it's just not a good spot. But this new setup that they have for the Tundra with it sitting kind of up and down, I kind of dig that, if you have to have one at all. Now, the next thing, perforated leather seats. You know, somebody on my Tundra video, and by the way, if you haven't checked that out, I put a video over on Rob Motive FST. Go over there and check it out. You can see what they're doing with the Tundra there. But anyway, they're seem to be utilizing new perforated leather seats. Now right now what we have of course are just these little dimples in the seats. Um, hopefully you can see right in there, they're kind of dimply. Now it appears they're gonna be putting in perforated leather seats. Um, not really digging that. Like I said, somebody brought up a good point and that was, well, what about sand and dirt and stuff? You know, if you have all these little holes, these little perforations, aren't they gonna accumulate that kind of stuff? Well, of course, the answer is yes. I mean, if you take your truck to the beach a lot or maybe you're out on the trails or you're dirty or whatever and you get in your truck, it's not like you're gonna wash your clothes before you get in. You're probably gonna fill those little perforated holes up with dirt, sand, grit, grime, whatever. 
I'm not thinking that's a great idea for the Tacoma, probably not a great idea for the Tundra either, but they seem to be going that way at least on the TRD Pro version. Now, what about the radio screen? You know, they're putting this bigger radio screen in the Tundra, which I'm all for, I love that. But is there room and will they put something like that in the Tacoma? You know, they just redid this radio screen for 2021. They made it a little bit bigger. I kind of doubt that they're gonna go with a bigger infotainment screen in the Tacoma because they've already done it right here with the 2020. We shall see. Maybe they'll take up that whole center stack area and everything will be controlled via buttons on a screen. Who knows? Now, lastly, of course, is the engine. You know, if you're following the new Tundra, then you know they're putting a twin turbo V6 in that truck. At least that's the most uh, believable rumor, I guess. Um, I think we're probably gonna see uh, some sort of a four cylinder turbo in the Tacoma kind of go in the way of the Ford Ranger, if you will. I'd be shocked if they put a twin turbo V6 in it because then they'll be kind of competing with the Tundra and I don't think they're gonna wanna do that. So probably a, some sort of a turbo, twin turbo V4 for the Toyota Tacoma. Anyway, I just wanted to get on with all this news, slowly, coming out about the new redesigned Tundra. I think it kind of gives us a look into what we can expect with the redesigned Tacoma. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Do you suppose that it will have a lot of the same kind of things in it as the new Tundra? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my new 21 Toyota Tundra and the upcoming redesigned Toyota Tundra and full-size trucks. Also, Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.